Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on pruritus. For description, scratch marks manifest as a sign related to an underlying symptom, pruritus, which is the sensation of itchiness. The absence of scratch marks in hard-to-reach places like between the shoulder blades, when they are present on the rest of the body, may be an indication of severity of itch. Pruritic scratch marks can be associated with renal causes like chronic renal failure. Hepatobiliary causes like hepatitis, biliary obstruction, primary biliary cirrhosis, primary sclerosing cholangitis, or drug-induced cholestasis. Hematological causes like polysemia vera, leukemia, lymphoma, or iron deficiency anemia. Metabolic disorders like hyper or hypothyroid, diabetes, men syndrome, or carcinoid syndrome. And also neurological causes like multiple sclerosis, cerebral tumor, and even stroke. For its general mechanism, the skin has many unmyelinated C fibers that synapse with each specific secondary neurons. It is the irritation of the unmyelinated C fibers by chemical mediators or pruritogens that causes the sensation of itch. The main pruritogen is histamine. However, there are numerous others and more are being discovered each year. These factors stimulate pruritus by directly acting on epidermal nerve endings, liberating histamine from mast cells, and potentiating histamine. The most common type of pruritogen is histamine, causing pruritus. There are many other types of pruritogens. Amines group, which histamine belongs to. Other groups are neuropeptides, eicosanoids, cytokines, opioids, and proteolytic enzymes. This is a flow chart showing how pruritus occurs. First there is a certain disease or condition causing increase in pruritogens. They directly stimulate the C fibers, cause histamine release and potentiate histamine. Pruritus occurs, which is itching of skin, and hence there are scratch marks seen. Let's look at the specific mechanism of the various causes of pruritus. First for chronic renal failure. Many elements contribute to pruritus in chronic renal failure. The accumulation of pruritogenic factors due to the kidney's inability to excrete them is thought to be the primary cause. Pathological features of chronic renal failure that contribute to pruritus include xerosis which is dry skin, abnormal cutaneous mast cell proliferation, secondary hyperparathyroidism, increased pruritogenic cytokines, increased vitamin A levels, increased endogenous opioids, impaired sweating, peripheral neuropathy, increased levels of magnesium stimulating release of histamine, and increased levels of phosphate, causing cutaneous calcification stimulating itch receptors. Whereas for hepatobiliary causes of pruritus, accepted reasoning thus far has been that increased bile salts accumulate in blood and tissues, inducing pruritus. However, research now suggests that although bile salts may directly or indirectly play a part in pruritus, the evidence for them having a key role in the induction of pruritus in cholestasis is weak. Steroids, steroid metabolites, histamine, serotonin, GABA, and cannabinoids are just a few of the pruritogens thought to be involved in the development of itch in cholestasis. One study has found that lysophosphatidic acid may cause a rise in intracellular calcium, that in turn activates itch-inducing nerve fibers in patients with cholestasis. For hematopoietic causes, histamine and serotonin have been associated with the pruritus of polysemia vera. In Hodgkin's lymphoma, some studies identify histamine as a central mediator, whereas other studies propose an autoimmune reaction to lymphoma cells inducing the liberation of bradykinins and leukopeptides. In metabolic and endocrine causes, pruritus in hyperthyroidism is thought to be related to a decrease in the itch threshold due to increased body temperature, vasodilatation, and activation of the kinin system by increased tissue activity and metabolism. In hypothyroidism, xerosis, dry skin is the principal cause of itchiness. For neurological disorders, in multiple sclerosis, bouts of pruritus are attributed to the activation of artificial synapses between axons in partially demyelinated areas of the CNS. For its sign value, little research has been directed towards the value of pruritus as a symptom or sign. Given the wide variety of causes, specificity is low. Here are the prevalence in some conditions. Pruritus is seen in 25-86% to 86 in uremic patients with chronic renal failure. 20-25% to 25 in patients with jaundice, prevalent in 100% of primary biliary cirrhosis and a presenting symptom in 50%. 25-75% 25-75% in polysemia vera. And 4-11% to 11 in patients with thyrotoxicosis. Pruritus may precede the onset of disease by 5 years in Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's all for this video. Thank you.